In this video we're going to have a look at how you control the visibility of updates made against a request. So looking at the incident form across the top we have the action bar. All of these actions represent different types of updates that can be done against this incident. And here down at the bottom we have the timeline where these updates are recorded including the type of update and the time that these updates were made. Now when applying each of these, there's also an option for visibility. Now this visibility is to determine whether or not a customer uh, would see this update or if this is something particular to your team. Each of these different action types all contain a control to select that visibility level. So going back to the comments, I'm just going to type in a, a comment here uh, and I'm going to direct this towards the customer. So hi Paul, I hope that uh, all is working okay. And again, looking at that visibility option, we can see that the customer is selected. So I'm just going to update that. And then going down to the timeline, we can see that update. And again, we can see that that visibility level is for the customer. The next item down is actually visibility just for the team. So this is something only my team members can actually see. And then below, I've also seen something that potentially the customer shouldn't see. So I'm able to change that visibility level. Now going over to the customer's view, so we're opening up in the guest access portal this particular incident. So as the customer goes through its history of this uh, incident, we can see each of these updates. Now we can already see some of these things probably aren't relevant to the customer and we're sh showing too much information. So what we can do, going back to the, uh, to the service manager view, as a support person, I could then go through and change that visibility on each of these different entries. So here we have one that's a PDF, so that one's probably fine. Scheduling call, no, that's going to be something internal. And we scroll down and we're happy with the rest of those. So going back to the, the customer's view again, as we refresh, we now see that all of these extra updates are no longer visible and only the information that's important to that customer can now be seen. Now, once you've uh, determined what uh, updates that you wish to make visible to the customers on the guest access, uh, you can come into the admin tool and under the service manager application settings, you're able to set the default visibility level for each of the actions in the request forms. So starting with, I'm just going to change the, uh, the asset assignment. Uh, so we can just click on the information button. So here we see this is the visibility level for the asset. And we can simply change this from uh, being visible to the customer and instead by default uh, it will only be visible to the team. Now the next item on the list is for the uh, assigning a an incident to another support person. So again this is something internal uh, so I'm just going to select team as the option for the visibility. Now once we come back into the service manager and looking at the incident when I select on the asset action, we can now see that the default value is for team and the same is with the assignment option.